So walking out of the doctor's office, getting rid of the crutches. Such a good feeling to be able to use my legs again. So just thinking uh, last three weeks, uh, not being able to use my left leg after surgery, surgery number 12, um, made me grateful for having two legs. Um, I get down a lot sometimes as much as anybody. I get down over, I've had multiple back surgeries, multiple elbow surgeries, so I've had to go without joints, uh, without using my right arm, being right-handed, without being able to use my left foot, having to walk and hobble on my right leg, which is arthritic, and uh, makes you grateful though that you have them, that you've got them. I think sometimes in life we forget to be grateful. Um, teaches us humility. I had, my wife had to help me take a shower when I injured my back or when I was in a cast in my right arm. I had to get help to wipe my butt. Um, and humility and gratefulness um, definitely taught me a lot. I hope that if I can encourage everybody to just um, be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your children, your spouse. Uh, be grateful for being single if that's your situation. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head, that you have water to drink. If you have don't have those things, it sucks. You know, I'm not in a wheelchair. I'm grateful for that. Uh, if you're in a wheelchair, grateful that you're alive. Um, grateful for your mind. Grateful for your body. Um, grateful for your memories and your friends and your family and for what you have. Um, and, you know, my, my mom, her... She had a verse in her Bible that I found when she died, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, give thanks in all circumstances. Excuse me, rejoice always, pray continuously, give thanks in all circumstances. She had 26 major surgeries, strokes, heart attacks, brain tumor. And she had a way to do that, to smile, to laugh, and to live. And uh, I've had to learn that. Uh, not just from seeing her go through it and experiencing that as a child growing up. She wasn't supposed to live to be 14. She lived to be 57. She outlived her doctors. She was a miracle. And uh, we have so many things in life that are just, you know, in ways, miracles. Uh, where we live, where we're born, um, the provisions that we have, the things that we work for, the education that we attain. Um, and so if I can just encourage anybody, be grateful for today because tomorrow's not guaranteed. Be grateful for what you have because you could live without it.